From a feisty fighter like Aisha Robinson to a super skilled Miguel Diaz, let's take a look at the best Cobra Kai fighters in the series. First up, Aisha Robinson. It's hard to forget her role in the first season. She was the first female student in the series to enter the Cobra Kai dojo, and she slowly cemented her spot as time went on, both in the world of the four-walled Cobra Kai dojo and the one that the viewers were seeing. Robinson became a fan favorite fast, but not for the reasons you'd think. Sure, she wasn't the strongest member of Cobra Kai, but her real strength was actually her resilience. Fans adored her willingness to learn karate so that she could stand her ground against the bullies, which is a shared reason for most of the OG Cobra Kai students. But sadly, we didn't get to see Aisha's character develop any further, because she was written off the show after season 2, which is totally not fair considering we got such little screen time with her. Here's another student who we didn't see enough of, Devin Lee, but that's because she's new to the dojo. Well, more like she was part of Eagle Fang at the start, and then she defected to the dark side, Cobra Kai. But just because she was new to the world of karate didn't mean she'd slow down. Nah, instead, she just rose to the top, and under Tori's guidance, she could have been one of the best fighters of this generation. And that's a huge deal, considering Devin had no experience before joining Eagle Fang. And yet, she made it to the quarterfinals in the last All-Valley Tournament, with only a few weeks of training. But Devin can't take down the pros like Sam and Tori. Yeah, her technique needs work, but she has enough determination to make up for any shortcomings, and not to forget, mentors willing to help her. Now, the next karate student's a bully who loves tormenting students, both in the dojo and outside of it, Kyler Park. Look, there's no denying he's one of the better fighters in Cobra Kai. I think it's funny to spread lies about me. What are you talking about? We saw a movie, and that's it. Well, maybe I saw a little bit more than you. <laughs> Thanks to his natural talent, what, with his wrestling background and all, plus his days of bullying students, it did help him pick up karate rather easily. In season one, he put up a pretty good fight against Miguel on several occasions, but after working under Kreese's mentorship, he became a formidable opponent, though the character's raw talent just wasn't enough for him to excel. He still lost to Hawk in the All-Valley Tournament, as well as Robbie, Miguel, and the new kid, Kenny. Yikes. But then there's the matter of the show's binary brother, a.k.a. Dimitri Alexopoulos. Oh. But I'll still root for you. Consider me an admirer from afar. Hey, I will take whatever I can get. Same as you at lunch? Sure. <laughs> I'll be honest, he wasn't my favorite character at the start. I found him annoying, stubborn, and too set in his one-dimensional ways. Plus, Dimitri wasn't an aggressive fighter in the first season either, which is why Cobra Kai wasn't the right dojo for him. But the karate students made a lot of progress since then. Sure, he's still not the most aggressive fighter, but Miyagi-Do doesn't mind. In fact, he's one of its best fighters. Alexopoulos has a solid defense and can counterattack when needed. And if you remember, he fought pretty well against Hawk during the school fight, as well as the fight with Robbie in the 51st All-Valley Karate Tournament. Even if karate isn't second nature to him, Dimitri makes up for it with his speed, quick thinking, and ability to work well in a team. But here's one karate student who's not big on teamwork, Kenny Payne. Fighting stance. Begin. Sweet, go, go, go. Sweet! Eight pushes. Damn. Cobra Kai loves using timid characters who are getting bullied and gives them a Princess Diaries makeover. But with the help of Cobra Kai, that is. Miguel's a great example of this, and so is Kenny. He doesn't have enough physical strength, but uses his size and speed to his advantage. That's why he's able to go up against bigger, stronger opponents and win. Payne even got into the quarterfinals, but was ultimately defeated by Robbie, who was more experienced. Here's to hoping that he mends his relationships in Season 6. The boy's got a bright future in karate. It's only fair he goes after it with his friends by his side, not foes. The next fighter has karate in her blood. Yep, it's none other than Samantha LaRusso. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Got you. Got you. 
She's got excellent defense thanks to her Miyagi-Do training, though she's shown her aggressive fighting stance in later seasons. Plus, what makes her a better striker isn't help from her dad, but Johnny Lawrence, who helps expand her skill. But Sam has a habit of getting confused between karate style, because she excels in both Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang karate. The young fighter solved this issue, however, by combining both styles to create her own. She also defeated Devin during the fight for a spot in the Sakai Taikai tournament, and to think that Terry Silver paid the referee to let Cobra Kai cheat. LaRusso won fair and square by using precise strikes to make it undeniable that she earned points. All hail the Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang Queen. And speaking of queens, the next fighter is Tori Nichols. She is the undisputed Cobra Kai Queen. Oh, you are better than this. How would you know? You never see me fight. It is obvious. You are troubled. Maybe you do not want to train anymore now that you are champion, huh? I don't just fight for a trophy. I want to be strong to defend what's mine. And she worked hard to earn that title. She did everything she could to stay on top, except play dirty. Nah, she's all about playing fair. Tori starts off by only knowing kickboxing, but then adds to her skill set after joining Cobra Kai. She also has a great striking technique that's improved over the seasons. But interestingly, she prefers to use kicks during her fights. And get this, Tori's aggressive nature makes her fight like her life depends on it. This gives her an edge on her opponents, but sometimes it leads Tori to become sloppy and get in her own way. Maybe switching to the other dojo will help her be more at ease, both with herself and in her fighting. Here's another fighter who's had it rough and has karate in his veins, Robbie Keane. Fighting stance. Elbows in. Remember, always look your opponent in the eye. There's no denying that Lawrence's boy is one of the best fighters in the show. He's naturally talented and grasped Miyagi-Do principles with his eyes closed, which is why Robbie quickly became a formidable martial artist. In fact, his rise to the top in Cobra Kai was pointed out by both Sensei Kreese and Silver in Season 4. He was better than his Cobra Kai classmates, both in regards to his skills and as the dojo's best chance at winning the All-Valley Tournament. Remember when Robbie fights the Cobra Kai dojo in Season 4, he wipes the floor with the Cobra Kai students, Tori included. This cements the fact that Robbie's indeed a martial arts prodigy and has learned from the best. And speaking of the best, I don't doubt that he'll follow in Johnny and Daniel's footsteps, but here's which student bagged the prize for first place. It's the karate champ, our very own Gen Z karate kid, Miguel Diaz. He's mastered both fighting approaches, defensive and offensive. Diaz is an excellent offensive fighter because he's patient when using a counterattack against an aggressive opponent. Plus, he's also the most balanced fighter, since he uses simple techniques and combos, compared to the rest of the happy bunch of gi-wearing students, that is, who are sometimes more about the pomp and show than the techniques, you know? And of course, his defense skills were perfected during his time with Miyagi-Do, but some fans think he lost his edge when he lost the fight to Robbie in Season 1 and their matches in Season 4. Season 5 squashed these issues through the rematch between the boys, which Miguel won. Do you think Miguel has it in him to win the Sakai Taikai, that's all for some of the best Cobra Kai fighters.